Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number three of my Dynamo Book Arrest Let's Play in Football Manager 2014. You know the last episode, it wasn't that great in terms of the result we got. Uh, it was a loss against Cluj at home, which is always going to be disappointing. We conceded a couple of unlucky goals, uh, but it's time to move on. No need to worry about them because, or yeah, those goals we conceded, yeah, it will just be a waste of time. Uh, we've got to focus on the next game. And uh, look, Balgradine here is actually wanted by a club. So obviously he did something good, even though he still conceded three goals. He's wanted... Who is he wanted by? He's wanted by Bari in Italy. So you can see the kind of level my players are at. And I've actually got no players that's over a million worth. That's the thing. I've got no players at all. They're all, all my players are under the value of a million. So again... You can kind of see where I'm at with that kind of thing. That's the biggest explanation, not having a player over a million value. Instead of really going through all my plays, you can just judge of that one comment there. <laughs> That's the best uh, yeah, best reaction. But anyway, we've had to bring in some more players because we've got injuries. We've got three injuries right now, so maybe it's good to have a bigger squad. Who knows? But and we've got others slowly coming back as well, like Alton. I think he can make an impact as well. Look at those attributes there. I'd really want to use him. I actually want to give him a game, but who are going to replace him with that's the thing I'll just take the goalkeeper off goalkeepers don't get injured uh, but yeah if Belgradine doesn't play well we're gonna have to change that up but for now what am I gonna do I was gonna bring him on yeah Alton like I said maybe come off the bench for Larray in the box box midfielder he could do a good job there uh, yeah he would be the starting player in that position normally I would believe like he seems better he was also a new signing to the club but obviously I didn't sign him but he is still a new signing to the club uh, Jan had to come off the bench, but Valici definitely to start. And now he's we're actually playing the team he's on loan from. Uh, I'm not sure how to say their name. It's like, ugh, I don't even know. I'm not gonna, even going to attempt it. I'm just call them, I'm going to call them the yellow team for now. Um, their media prediction is 10th. We should be beating them, actually. So, yeah, come on. But, yeah, Valici, he's definitely a good player on loan from them. He scored off the bench uh, in, the last, in the last game. So, obviously, he can... Uh, be a goal scorer for us um, on that evidence. But yeah, we could definitely sell some players. But the question is who? Like, I look at all these players, and I believe they all can make an impact. Like, even the guy I talked about, probably the guy I was going to sell more than anyone if I wanted to sell anyone was Popper. But I still think he could. He needs... Like, if we sell him, we're not going to get much for him. This is what I mean. What? He's only worth 23k. Like, who am I going to get for him? We Then we don't have much. What do we have? I'm going to have to look at it, but yeah, we got like just under 300k. We could sign some. Is someone like transfer listed or something? But yeah, I don't even know. Could we sign another centre back or. If I go centre back and then transfer listed, yeah, who could we sign? There's some other, yeah, other Romanian players here, but look, yeah, low. He's, he would be a similar player, this guy right here, but again, nothing amazing. If you search by the values of the player, um, who could we find? Osman Chavez. He sees a strong player. He could be decent. I'll get a scout report on him. Uh, what is he wanted by the club? Though? 220. So, yeah, I'll definitely scout him. And maybe a couple others. Um, Mark Otten. Uh, he's 27. Again, but he still seems like a similar player. He's maybe better mentally. But, yeah, anyway. Uh, that's it for, for that. But, yeah, I'm going to start Eiffel as well on the right wing. Rotaru, obviously, going to be the key player for us. And, yeah, we'll see how we go. And, actually, bring in Duramel. And I took out Thicko. Who was the starting centre-back in the last game? Oh, yeah, uh, Silvest. Where did he go? Yeah, he's on the bench now. I took him off for fitness reasons. And we'll see how we go. Because Duramel, he looks decent. Like, and he's got that high potential as well. See that report, four and a half star. So he marks opponents tightly as well. That's something I want. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes in this game. For me, this has to be a win, especially after losing in the first game. And it's interesting, Valici uh, can play. Um, usually, I'm pretty sure when players are on loan, a lot of the time they can't play. But that's just, yeah, my experience sometimes. But go to team talk here. Assertive. Go out there and impress me. Come on. We need to overturn the bad result in the last episode. Oh, no. Ooh, bad piece of defending early. That's like in the first 10 seconds. Oh, 
Not a great start to the game. And Valici picks up a knock, of course, right away. Then Serban, ooh. One of our young talents in the team. Come on, defend this. Nah, they've got a lot of space. I'm not liking that. Uh, come on. Both teams having early chances here. I, they just give it away. Come on, tackle. Tackle. Good save. And yeah, Valici, I'm not sure whether to keep him on or not because it's just a knock, but... Oh, no, not a long throw. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I don't know, it doesn't seem as fluid as normal. I'm not sure if it's just that general thing at the start of the season. We made a lot of new signings as well. Uh, with signings gelling, at the same time the tactic gelling, or getting fluid more so. Come on. No, oh, I can sense a goal coming. Well, that guy's number 88. <laughs> Booyah. Yeah, that guy, his new player as well for us. He missed out on the first game, and yeah, he's a good young talent. There's so much here, yeah, players. It's hard to talk about all of them. Oh, no. Please don't concede. I knew it. I said it, and it was going to happen. We look like conceding, and we did here. See, this has been the problem. Uh, those wingers get in a lot of space. That's something I've noticed early in the first couple games I've played. So what will I do here? Let's go aggressively and show me something else. Like, I want to be the dominant team. That's just a yellow. Oh, It's hard to judge away from home. Like, what can I do? See, this is what I mean. They're getting so much space here. Be careful. And then they whip the cross in, of course. Uh, and that's a goal. I'm thinking, I'm just wondering what to say about that, but I have no idea. It's just another cross in football manager. And I'll get I'll go on attacking. Try and do something. But Valici, yeah, he's picked up an injury. That's why he hasn't made an impact in this game. I'm going to, yeah, might as well give my players that need some match fitness in. I'll bring on Yoncha and Alton. Uh, yeah, full array, I guess. Who should I bring on here? Yeah, I guess Lazar. Take Eiffel off. Hasn't played the best. But even Rotario has played bad as well. That's what I mean. When you try and put faith in young players. See, playing uh, Yoncha and Alton will freshen up our team a little bit. I'm not sure if we can get something from this game. But in, the, in future games, I probably want to be starting both those players. If I'm honest. So yeah, we'll change up the complexion of our team, I believe. Come on. Maybe get one back. I feel he missed it. See, I, I don't even know if I'm deserving to win these games or more so I should be winning these games or not. Like, I don't really know. Like, uh, It's hard to judge my team. I'm not going to go through looking at the quality of players of every single team. But the quality of... T oh, no. It's a penalty. Of course. And there it goes. Game over. But yeah, I can't take too much into it. It's just start of the season. You know these results always come up. Like, I know this always happens. So I play so much football manager saves, like way more than I don't even upload as well. So uh, some people think I do a lot of series on YouTube. Of football manager, you should know, you should see how much saves I actually play. Oh, but we get a goal back here, but I believe it's too late. But it's good for Bowie, a young player. Good for him. Really good goal there for him to score, to get his confidence up. He's got potential as well. Uh, could be a very good player in this league. But unfortunately, it's all over now. 
If we get a goal here, though, it could open it up, though. Booyah again. Yoncha. Booyah. What oh, is? We have a slight opportunity. Come on. Lazar. Scores. Well done. See, that's what I mean. There is promising signs here. We scored a couple goals. So it does show we can score. Uh, defense might be... It's either we need better quality... I think it's the quality. We don't have amazing defenders. That was an easy thing I saw right away coming to the team. We didn't really have amazing defenders. But here we could come back and we do. Holy shit. Of course, it's disallowed uh, to break me down. Of course... That was an offside. Look at that. He's on. He is on. And the referee is on something as well, probably. Judging off of that call. Or well, the linesman, whoever made that decision. So he should have got at least a point from this match. That was onside, you saw there. Especially when the advantage is supposed to go to the attacking player. But anyway. I can tell it's just another save where my frustrations are going to boil over when it's... Uh, just like one BS game after one BS game. Come on, please. <sighs> we deserve something from this game. The second half has been good, though. I'm happy how we played in the second half. We look more dangerous. First half, not at all. Oh, whoa, okay, good defending, actually. <laughs> I thought we would have conceded. Don't concede. Good save again. But yeah, I'm really disappointed. We couldn't get, again, anything from this game. But he's away from home in an early season match. You can get these results. But again, I'm going to say aggressively, I'm far from pleased. These teams, you should be beating... But where are they with this team? Yeah, they're second. So they won their first... Well, they didn't win their first match, actually. But, yeah, they showed they're a good team. And we're into 17. So this is not a great start. But hopefully, uh, the board will understand it's just the start of a season. Uh, Chavez. See, this guy will be a cheat. I could sign him. But would he be good enough? Because he can just play centre-back. I believe our full-back positions are weak. Left-back. We See, this is, the, this is our current problem. We have a lot of left-backs. But... I don't think they're good enough. And even right back as well. I'm going to have to sign a left back. I don't know who, but we're going to sign someone. Someone who's transfer listed. So it can be just a quick signing. Oh, could we get this guy, please? We've got someone with a good report and he's high valued. He should be decent. Okay. Oh, how do you say his name, though? I'm just going to call him Maxim. I don't care. Where is he from? Uh, Belarus. So he could be decent looking at his attributes, his report as well. He's a leading player at this level. So, And he can play right back. Perfect as well. Perfect. Exactly kind of player we need. Versatile and quality. So there we go. We might have to adjust the budget. Oh, How much wages is he on? What is he on in terms of wages? Is about how much we have right now. So I might have to ask the board. Unless there's another player, but then nah, I don't want to go looking for someone else. I need a first team quality. Like, I always get pushed into signing young players. Okay, this guy seems decent as well. He's Spanish and he can actually play wing. I like Spanish players and they'll go with my way of playing in terms of passing. Because, yeah, of course, m like most Spanish players anyway are good technically. And you can see other teams are interested. I'll just get a scout report just to make sure. Like, just see what you know, they think of him or something, uh, my scouts. But, yeah, if I compare him to my other players, he is better technically. Like, who's our other left backs? We've got this Gergiu guy. See, he's not as good. Like, he's definitely better than him. But he's young. So, we've got... And Greku, he's like two and a half star, not as good. See, so look, lower attributes... Uh, we got Philip, this young guy, but he's, yeah, more so a winger. But, yeah, we'll see how it goes anyway. See, look at this right here. Uh, Las Palmas, uh, Danny Castellano. Uh, he's four-star current ability. He'll be a star player in the League One or Liga One. Yep. Sign him. Transalist can get him below his value. 
We've got asking price of 195k. Yes. Yes, every time. Like I think he can do a perfect job. And again, he could play wing as well. We probably need another winger. And what's he... Yeah, he's only left only. So probably can't play on the right side, like right back. But we've got plenty. We've got that Collins fire. He's a young player. Uh, see, he's not as good. But here, he's got potential to grow. So we've got heaps of those players that can have potential to grow. So finally, the deal is just accepted. And just before today's game as well. Uh, which is very important. Hopefully he can join and maybe he can make a start and we'll see how he does. So should get accepted just before the game, hopefully. <laughs> just at last ditch arrival. Uh, usually a player wouldn't make an appearance, but just because it's a game, I think he could come in and do all right. Uh, we'll see how he goes anyway. He probably comes in as our, yeah, as our best left back now on his attributes. So definitely... I want to play him in this crucial game against Astra. Now, where are they sitting? Uh, they're in 11th right now. They won one game and lost one. We could have easily been in the same boat. I definitely think I deserve to win one of those games that finished 2-3. Uh, when it finishes 2-3, yeah, either team could have won. And they're kind of yeah, early season results you expect, like high scoring, both defenses not as good. And yeah, unfortunately, my opponents have just finished more chances than myself. So uh, you can see we're still working on it. Still getting fluid, but we've got four areas. Formation, mentality, tempo, and width that is fluid. And the rest is competent or accomplished. So it's getting there. We should still show signs of doing better. But yeah, Alton, like I said, he's going to come in now for Larey. And Yoncha is going to come in for Vileci. Oh, but Vileci, he did good. I'm going to give him a chance. He had a knock in the last game. So again, another unfortunate thing. Uh, Castellano will come on, or yeah, Castellano, uh, Greco will come off, and look, we've got heaps of players, you think we, like I've been saying, I should sell some players, but I see something in every single player, maybe I should put some of the younger ones in the reserves, and give them reserve games or something, but yeah, leave your thoughts what I should do, actually Mansali, mm, he's three star report, and what's Alton? Two and a half star. But I feel as though I need to give this guy a chance because he shoots with power as well, plays one two, so he could be a danger going forward uh, to create some chances for us. Whereas, who's the other guy? Uh, Mansali. He's got he's the same. He's got good preferred moves as well. He's got moves into channel, shoots from distance, and places shots. So it's hard to say. He, he picked up an injury, didn't he? So, yeah, he's another one. Now, who is the other guy attacking midfielder? Yeah, Gilzinho, but again, he probably needs match fitness. So we were struggling on match fitness for a lot of players, but we've still got a good starting 11 team, I believe, anyway. So, yeah, we'll go in, hopefully. Hopefully my team can do something. Actually, I'm going to start Lazar. Lazar instead of Eiffel. And give Bowie another chance. He he did well. I want to show him a little bit, talk about him. He's got that high potential. Uh, four and a half star to be a star player in this league. We've got about four or five of those kind of players. Some in attack, uh, some midfield. So, yeah, uh, we probably need some in defense. That's only where we don't. So, I'll bring in Mikael Silvest back in uh, for Duramel. And yeah, I'll, I'm happy. Like, if I see Castellano now, then I see Silvest, Grigor. That's, I'm happy with that part. But Russ, I thought he was decent. Uh, leading into the games, but he's good physically. He's got stamina, natural fitness, balance. Like, I'm happy with that back four. Like, for this level, I think that's good enough. But, yeah, leave your thoughts as well. There's so much... Like, I'm trying to improve by signing players here. I'll give him number 15. And I'll press yes and see how we go. But, obviously, if I lose this game, something needs to be changed, and I'll work on that. I'm pretty sure this guy is Portuguese. They have. Yeah, I knew. I heard of him before. He's older. He's like... A tall, well, he's got strength here, a strong striker, so you have to watch out for him. Like, he's, if not better, yeah, good if, yeah, as good as Valici, ah, uh, striker, if not better. Like, come on. Like, our team is not that good. I don't reckon our team is like a top five team, as our expectations are. Or, well, yeah, the media predicts us to come fifth. I don't think it's that good. But anyway, I'm going to say passionately, do it for the fans, come on. I need to see something positive in this game. Even though, yeah, both the first two games, I saw positives, but not for the whole 90 minutes. That was the only problem. We'll see what happens after this game. Usually after three or four games, you get a good indication. And if you're not improving, something is wrong. 
I don't like to judge it off one game. That's definitely something. But yeah, maybe after like three or four games, then you get yeah a good indication. Come on. But usually I like to go with the tactic that I want to use because then you're going to have to spend more time creating another one and again, more time for that to get fluid and it might affect results. So generally I don't like to change it because of that reason. Come on. Please score. Against, yeah, it's against another pretty good team in the league. They're predicted to come sixth, I think it was, or another team. Or even higher. I think it was like third or something. Now, I've got to pause this here so I can check it out. I'm pretty sure it was high. Yeah, they're predicted to come third. So they're a really good team. They're in the Europa League. So technically, they're better than us. <laughs> so we'll see. So they should be thinking they could win this game as well. So both teams want to win here. Oh, Valici. Definitely would have been a great goal to head it in from there. But yeah, we look good at, We look good early. We're having possession. This is exactly what I want from my team. Look at that possession. That is what I want. Look at that possession. Exactly what I wanted. If you can score late in that, this half right here, we'll be perfect. Oh, they could be under pressure. They are. Oh, Booyah. What was that? He went for the spectacular, and it was far from that. So we're going half time. Going have to go a strong team talk again, assertive. Uh, we can still come out of this match with a win tonight. Basically, every single player bar one listen keenly from that. So they take it in and they know what they have to do. So hopefully we can make a couple subs a bit later if we're not winning to try and change it up. But be careful here. Yeah, pushed him wide. That was good. Probably wasn't going to score from there. Defense has been a bit better in this game. I noticed they haven't had chances like in previous games in terms of players being free wide and stuff. So, yeah, that has been better in this game. Come on. We need a goal, though. I'm thinking to push to attack. But I'm not sure. I want to. I want to win this game. No, oh, good passing by them. What's going to happen here? Ooh, changes. I'll make changes first. Hmm, who should I bring on? Yeah, Booyah hasn't played the best. Who do I bring on here? A uh, Larray, would he play good there? I have no idea. Give him a chance, I guess. Alton will come off as well. We'll bring on Mansali. And one guy to make a difference. Who will it be? Yoncha as a striker. He's got 15 finishing. He scored two goals preseason, and he needs to get that match fitness. So, yeah, he's probably the ideal candidate, I reckon, uh, to come on. Come on, please. Let's go. I really want to get a win under my belt. Okay, if we don't score from this one, we'll definitely have to go on attack. Oh, giving away again. But maybe having the left back, the new signing, yeah, has improved us. Oh, here we go. Retaro or Retaru, whatever his name is. <laughs> Who cares? We're winning. That's all I care about right now. But the thing is, if it isn't for that guy, isn't for if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be winning uh, now. But that was a good ball. Uh, the sub, yeah? Uh, Larray and Retaru, who's the young talent. Who We're going to have to keep him. He's only 17 right now, but he's so good, as you saw from that. Can we finish it off here, please? Yes, I'm just so happy about getting that goal. Now, Lazar. Oh, Mansali. We look good. We're improving. That's what I mean, to not make quick decisions uh, on your tactic. Oh, of course, we'll get an injury, but we'll just leave it like this. Uh, Jancic, can he play midfield? Nah. I don't See, when it gets in this situation, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Um, I might stro uh, drop Man Sully into a defensive midfield position. I'll play both at defensive midfielders, actually. Uh, deep line playmaker on defend there and ball-winning midfielder for Man Sully. I think that'll be good for him. If I put defensive midfielder, yeah, he can play ball-winning midfielder. He's got like two stars for all those attributes or those positions, yeah. I'll go defensive now. 
to try and hold on to this result. Maybe change fluidity to rigid. Just you play more of a rigid game and drop the wingers down. Like I said, just play a bit more smartly. Put them on support so they're not too attacking. And yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. Should be able to hold on now. Okay, this is going to be a highlight. Could it be for us, though? It could be. We've got the ball, please. Just hold on to it for a bit. Yeah, there we go. Oh, here we go. Yoncha, seal it, mate. He does. Come on. Come on. We get our first win here. We get our first win. Oh, done. <laughs> Come on. What a goal. Lazar, see how he just... He wanted to get to it, and he did. That's what I want to see in my players. Players that will give 100% to the end of the game. Exactly what I wanted. Those kind of players I take note of, really. And Danny had a good first game at left back as well. We didn't concede, so the change was made. We made a good signing, and yeah, it, I guess it affected. Against a team that's predicted to come third in the league. So exactly what I wanted there. Uh, morale boosting win, exactly what we needed as well. Where's the match stats? What did we do in this game? It was a pretty tight game, I guess. I had two clicker chances. They had one, so yeah, it was okay. It was pretty, I guess you could say it was an even game, but we took our chances perfectly and we defended well. That's exactly what I wanted. And of course, we're still going to be, okay, we push up to 11th, so that's a bit better. We go from the relegation zone to 11th. Okay, do four teams get rele relegated? Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> so we've got to be careful of that, but I wouldn't expect we'll be in the relegation zone. But it's good to get a win there. And then with the next games we have, we've got, we've got Petrolal. Where are they? Well, again, me to prediction second. Next game's going to be hard as well. We'll come in the next episode. And then we've got Gazmatan. Their prediction is 11th. I just want to see your upcoming games. Otalal, a media prediction 9th. So a couple mid-table teams. And then this other team, uh, 16th. So we could definitely, in the next month or so, we p could pick up three or four wins. Uh, hopefully, anyway, uh, to push up the table. But anyway, leave your thoughts on that late win. Oh, that was really good. And yeah, that's why I said I don't want people to get on my back about, well, okay, th this is how this tactic shows for the results. I haven't, yeah, the first time I saw this, obviously, have the arrows for winning or losing. But anyway, yeah, like I said, don't get on my back too much, even though probably, yeah, people will in the first episodes. But now, yeah, we get that win and we can go on up. And that shows after a while, we play the way I want to, being... Strong defensively, but still good in the attack. This game is the perfect explanation, uh, yeah, of my current tactic. You saw uh, we were hard to score against, and we were dangerous in attack. That's exactly what I wanted to bring to the table. Uh, keep, yeah, good possession in that with the deep playing forward in support. Just, he comes as a midfield, like, I don't want to, yeah, you know the role, but I'll, if you don't know the role, I'll, I'll talk to you about it. It says the deep playing forward, I'll just click on it there. The deep line forwards main function is yeah main function is to link the attack to the midfield. Uh, he aims to drop deep into space and hold up the ball before supplying link passes or linking passes to teammates. Moving the ball back to midfield support, spreading it wide to the flanks. And if he has time to turn, playing in his strike partner. But we're only we're not playing with another striker, so that's interesting. But anyway, where are we? If we go to players, no tactics then player. That's all I wanted to do. And if I go to striker, then I put it on support. It should say additional role. Yeah, with a support due to D playing forward, we'll largely aim to bring teammates into play before attacking the box from deep. So, uh, yeah, it's shown uh, that has done well. But obviously, you can't, again, you can't judge off one match. It has to be the same situation. When I say I can't ju judge off one match when I lose, it has to be the same when I win as well. It has to show multiple games where I'm playing well. So, yeah, the next month of games is absolutely crucial uh, for our season if we're going to be yeah, top four contenders to get into Europe for next season. But yeah, it remains to be seen. But hopefully you enjoyed it. Drop a like if you did. Drop a comment for me to read as well. And I will see you guys next time.